Okay, so today we're going to review another motherboard, MSI MPG D390 Gaming Pro Carbon AC. So this is basically the big brother of the last motherboard that we reviewed, which was the Gaming Edge AC. So AC stands for uh, Wi-Fi AC, so they both have integrated Wi-Fi. And this is Gaming Pro Carbon, but it's basically the same motherboard as we're going to see. But now you can still find this one uh, in, in some shops. The other one seems to be gone completely. So, And also you have pre-installed I.O. shielding. So chipset is D390, just like the other one. Basically it's the same look. So. Let's open it. Got our nice motherboard. And then DVD. Sticky stuff. Cables. Manual, quick start guide, stickers, this is the SLI bridge, this is antenna, Wi-Fi antenna. Basically this is the main difference that I can find between the two motherboards. The other one has uh, two antennas that, are, that you plug straight into the back shield, uh, the I.O. shield. And this one has so this is a pretty good looking motherboard i've got to admit and we've got four ddr4 slots and these go up to 4400 megahertz then we've got our cpu socket and this one supports 8 gen and 9 gen core pentium gold serial on depending on what your mining needs are if you want to mine with the C cpu or just gpu then we've got first m2 slots and here hidden behind this shield you can actually remove this remove the screw and you have another m2 slot here and then we've got our three full width pcie express slots so technically some you would call them 16x but it doesn't mean they're running at 16x all the time so if you were to plug in two cards here this one would run at 8x and this one at 8x so make sure you check your motherboard sometimes they will run at less than 8x and this is important now if you get your hands on a 3060 so the rtx 3060 with an unlocked uh, driver from nvidia if you can get your hands on it will hash at full rate only if you plug it into an 8x minimum slot so 8x or 16x it's not going to work with a 4x so in this card i can actually plug in two uh, 3060 and I think I will try actually actually have two of them and I will try straight on the motherboard and I will try with the risers but 16x risers you cannot use the typical riser we use for mining because these risers are for 1x so they will convert 16x to 1x and it's not gonna hash at full speed so you need the very expensive half working that I can see uh, in reviews risers which are 16x and it's just a ribbon cable and with the at the end you have your PCIe Express slot. So here we have three full width 16x uh, PCIe Express slots, and then we have three more. And like I showed in another video, you can use the last one and plug in here a PCIe Express multiplier, and voila, you have more slots. So here you can plug straight six. But if you want more, you can buy a multiplier, and I will link down one below the one I'm using on another card, the M MSI gaming edge and it's working without any problem at least on this motherboard here we've got more cpu power if you're going to use a high-end cpu and let's check the io shield now very nice looking io shield i think msi did a very good job and gamers should be pretty happy with this motherboard so here we have usb 2 ports then we have display port hdmi and then we have usb type c and this is usb 3.1 gen 2 for all these ports 
Then we have Ethernet and Wi-Fi. And like I said, this one has a, an antenna that you can put away from the motherboard or from the frame if you're having bad connectivity. So it may be slightly better than the gaming edge in case you don't have the best Wi-Fi connection. Okay, so once we are in the BIOS, let's turn off HP audio controller, let's turn off, turn on XMP, switch to advanced, settings, advanced, and we want to put this at Gen 2 for extra stability, above 4G, the currency mining, this is to allow for more cards. Then we want to start an IGD in my case and power on and finally we want UEFI I don't like fast boot that's it safe and reboot In case you're having no display output, you should go to advanced and then enable to PCIe Express graphics by default and enable multi-monitor. And then you should see the display once it reaches uh, Windows boot. So what about this motherboard? Well, it's almost the same as the MSI Gaming Edge that I reviewed. So all I can say, this is working as expected which means very good I honestly I don't recommend buying any mining motherboard anymore just buy these gaming motherboards and if you need more than six PCIe Express slots just buy one of these multipliers and you're good to go so this this rig just next to me has this MSI gaming pro carbon and it's working without any hiccup so all I can say this is very good stuff and Wi-Fi has been rock solid so go ahead and buy this motherboard all right consider subscribing if you like this kind of reviews and I will see you in the next one bye bye